This is out of our 308 Reaper. Some really interesting designs on this one, and a lot of these carry over from our 5.56 and 6.8 guns. All our guns are one-piece carriers. What we found out from a lot of trial and error is the one-piece tombstone is the way to go. We actually brought it in as close to the center line of the bore as we could, and we gave it a two-degree incline on the strike face. So that way when the op rod hits, it has completely linear travel back to front. Uh, it's fully nickel boron. It's not new technology. It's, just, it's technology that absolutely works. We nickel, we nickel bore on the bolt, and we give it a uh, more matte finish on the actual bolt carrier. The lightning cuts, as you see all the way around, they're for two reasons. Um, actually, technically three. It takes out a lot of reciprocating mass out of it, but it also acts as a oil well. So that way, if you're in cold temperatures, you're shooting out in Alaska, Canada, somewhere like that, when you fire, if there's any ice buildup, it breaks off. It also helps to these undercuts. If there's any kind of dirt, debris, anything like that, it'll blow out of the gun. It'll make the gun cycle a little bit smoother. Tell me a little bit about uh, carrier tilt issues with this gun. How, how have you handled that? Um, carrier tilt is one thing our guns have never suffered from because of the engineering we've put into our parts. Carrier tilt is what affects a lot of piston guns on the market, um, on some of the lesser ones, pretty much. When the actual op rod hits, the carrier will tilt down and we're at the receiver extension and the bottom portion of it. By doing this and enlarging the boss here and taking up any kind of negative space in the buffer tube, when the op rod hits, it's completely linear back to front to our recoil travel. Um, it also transfers a little bit softer felt recoil. There's the back side of it as well. You see the big oil well cuts. Pretty awesome. And you can see from our guns, they generally run clean. This gun's probably got 800 rounds through it, and it's not dirty at all. I feel dirty just looking at it, though. You should. You absolutely should. That's pretty awesome. Thanks for taking the time, Adam. Right, Folks, get out there, get yourself some training. When you do, make sure you keep it simple. Maybe you're going to do it with an LWRC rifle. Stay safe. Have a great day.